What's up everyone, Safe Down here. Welcome back to another hockey card video. Today I'm gonna to be opening up this Walmart rookie mystery box. Now this includes one rookie card, which is usually in a sleeve, four factory sealed packs per box as well, and you do have a chance of getting graded cards. Now, I'm assuming that inside here, there isn't necessarily a graded card, just because I assume because it'd be a lot more plastic and it'd be heavier, you'd be able to feel it. And this just feels like it's probably just a regular top loader in here with the mystery card inside, but we're gonna find out. These are at Walmarts in Canada for $10. I've been seeing them frequently. So these are pretty new as the time I'm recording this. I'm not sure when I'm gonna be able to upload it. So yeah. Let's open this bad boy up. I'll try to take out just the packs first here. The packs are, we have a 2018-19 Upper Deck Series 2. Same year, Series 1. We have a 16-17 Parkhurst, which you guys know I don't really care for Parkhurst. And we have an 18-19 Parkhurst. So before I show you guys the mystery card, we're going to open up these packs here. I'm going to start with Parkhurst just because it's my least favorite. So this one is 1819. All right, so up first we have Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Charlie Coyle, Nick Letty. Eric Halla, which is cool because I love Vegas cards. You guys know this. A Charlie McAvoy. We have a prominent prospects for Jordan Cairo. That's really cool. I like how it shines there. It's uh, almost like a rainbow, but uh, not necessarily a foil. That's really cool. That one's staying in my PC. We have a rookie for Rasmus Dahlin. Clayton Keller base which I have a PC for him, which is awesome. Lars Eller. And an all-star for Brent Burns, who I also have a PC for. So that to me is really cool. All right, next up, we're going to be doing the next Parkhurst pack. I already have it ripped here. This is 1617. And I already see something that I don't like. A check checklist. Just a standard one. I like the ones where it's a design on the front at least, or at least a team checklist or something. It does have Connor McDavid, but I don't know. Pretty uh, pretty basic card right there in my opinion. Nismaka Nismov. Always butcher names. You guys know this. Nothing new. Daniel Sedin. We have a Drestal. Mike Green. Richard Raquel. A Matt Niskanen, Noah Hanfin, which I think I just got as uh, rookie materials a while back, Tiru Tavarinen, and that is pretty cool. NHL Sentinel salutes for Ray Bork. Finally wins his Stanley Cup in the final NHL game of his career. That is awesome. That looks really cool. It's not a foil. Uh, rainbow foil. It is pretty uh, shiny though. I absolutely like that. I have a small PC of him. So this one's really cool. Plus it has a Stanley Cup just like that. So that's really awesome. That is a nice card in my opinion. Not usually a fan of Parkhurst, but that was actually really cool. We might as well do series one next. Open it here and see what we get. All right, so we have Eric Stahl, Evander Kane, who I have a small PC for. That one's pretty cool. A Mark andre Fleury, which I think I might have this card. It's the first one since he was in Vegas, I believe. I'm just going to put it there to check. We have an Upper Deck Canvas card for Joel Edmondson, which is really cool. I like Canvas cards. Anton Strollman, John Klingberg. I've been getting a lot of his cards lately. Dmitry Orlov, 
and TJ Brody, who I have a small PC for, so that is pretty cool. I'm separating these from just base cards, ones that I don't really care about having in my collection, to ones that I PC or the hits. And the last pack here is Series 2 for 1819, which I didn't collect too much for that year. I didn't find it was that great of stuff in it. Regardless, Robin Leonard. I think I might start PCing him. Panarin. I've been collecting him crazy lately and finding him. It's not that I'm looking for him. It's just I keep finding him. Frolock. Joel Erickson EK. I always butcher his name. I don't know if that's right. Alexander Fortin. Young Guns. Now, I'm not even sure who this is, but apparently I've seen other people opening hockey cards. Apparently this guy is one of the worst Young Guns to get. It's not really of value, but it is a Young Gun, so this one might go on an eBay mystery pack. Not sure. Radko Gudis. Curtis McHanley. Goalie card, which I PC goalies. And Vincent Henestraza. Butchered that phenomenally. Plus, there is still one more card in here. That is the rookie card. Let me grab that out. So, so far it was just the base uh, sealed packs. Not too bad. I got some stuff from my personal collection here. And it is a Young Guns for Joel Levo. Uh, Toronto Maple Leafs, which you guys know I'm not really a Toronto fan. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure. This is pretty cool, though. Um, I don't have anything in this, so I'm going to look up to see what the value is. I don't know the player, so I'm assuming it's not much. This one here I might put on my eBay or put it in a mystery pack for eBay. Or just keep it in my collection or possibly do a hockey card giveaway in the future. So that one might be included in the future. I'll just put it here for now. I do have some other stuff though. So now I just want your guys' opinion on what I should do. Of course, I said about doing giveaways here on the channel a while back. So for those that are here on my channel because of hockey cards, these cards here that are in my hands, I might end up using as giveaways on the channel. Let me know down in the comments below if that's a good idea, if that's something you guys think people would be interested in. We have a Jordan Eberle Pinnacle City Lights jersey card, numbered out of $4.99. A Fresh Ice Ryan Miller card. Jersey card. A dual jersey card for Canada Juniors, Julio Billa and Mason McDonald's. I have two Tyson Jost cards, Young Guns. We have a Hanu Troven rookie jersey auto card numbered out of $14.99. And we also have a rookie relic jumbos. For Kyle Connor, numbered out of 199. Now these are cards out of my personal collection that I have gotten either through eBay or I pulled them myself out of boxes and I was keeping them in my personal collection, but I just don't need these in my personal collection anymore. I've been trying to clear out a little bit more. Um, instead of putting these on eBay, I'm thinking of doing these for giveaways on the channel. Now right now, I'm not announcing that for sure. I'm doing a giveaway with these cards on my channel right now. I just want to know your guys' opinion. Do you think doing a giveaway with these cards or more whenever I start clearing more cards out if I should do giveaways with them? For example, the card that I just got in this video here, it's not really something that I personally collect. I like Young Guns, I just don't know who this is, so I might do giveaways with that, but at least this stuff here, I'm thinking of really doing giveaways. Comment down below what you guys think. Should I do a giveaway? Should I do one giveaway every two weeks until all these cards are gone or one a month? Let me know what you guys think or if I should even do a giveaway. I want to do giveaways here on the channel. I have a couple video games I'm going to be using as giveaways in the future. But for hockey cards, since I do hockey card videos, I figure why not just give away hockey cards? They're easy, cheap for me to ship. So the winner wouldn't pay for anything. I'll just send them one of these cards. So that's just an idea I wanted to throw out and mention in this video just in case Maybe it's not a good idea, maybe nobody really cares, at least for these cards, or wants to do a hockey card giveaway, or be included into it, but let me know what you guys think in the description, or in the description, in the comments below. But as for this Walmart Rookie Mystery Box, for $10, you can't really complain, even though this Young Guns isn't really a player that I know, 
or care about, and it probably isn't staying in my collection. At least I did get a bunch of cards here. This whole stack right here for my personal collection. So that is still, in my opinion, pretty cool. I'll obviously have to go through it and see if there's anything else in these ones, but these ones here might just go on my eBay in mystery packs. But I'm going to leave this hockey card video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know about the giveaways if you guys are interested, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.